Mulcahy. Nice pass to Miles Johnson. Behind the head, behind the headband. Everybody would be like, yeah, Paul Mulcahy's coming. You know, the dude with the headband, headband highlights. Mulcahy in the middle is a great idea. And how about that little kiss off the glass? This guy has game. I started playing basketball when I was two or three. I started wearing the headband probably when I was like six or seven. At first, my dad used to make me wear it just to stick out from the other kids that I was playing with. I didn't really like wearing it at first, but by the time I was in middle school, um, it kind of became a part of who I was. I'm from Bayonne, New Jersey. I live like six blocks away from Hudson County Park. There was two different courts. There was the little kid court and the men court. And even when I was little, I just wanted to play with the older guys. The only way I'd be able to stay on the court was if I got guys the ball in the right spot. And then I think that's kind of where I picked up on the street ball game and just being able to pass because I had to keep everybody else happy or else they wouldn't pick me because I was the smallest kid out there. I don't know how the headband highlights thing kind of started. Heading into my senior year, I had one pair of sneakers that I wore out the whole year, and I wrote headband highlights. Kind of took a life of its own. I knew that the headband was important to Paul. We talked about it on the recruiting visits, and some coaches have rules in place for different apparel that guys wear, and I said, Paul, I love it. If that's what you feel comfortable in. I'm fully supportive. We want to have a headband night at our arena. I definitely did not expect it to be my first game in college, and that was so cool. I think there was over like 5,000 headbands. The whole student section had it. Imagine being a freshman, coming to your first game in a Rutgers uniform in your home state of New Jersey, and you just look into the crowd and the student section all has headbands on. I'm sure it was a surreal feeling for him. Bob, already you can see why Rutgers fans are so excited about this freshman from Bayonne, New Jersey. I don't care about my own statistics or my own achievements. The things I do don't show up in the stat sheet. We typically have highlights after the game of all the things that aren't gonna show up or be written about or be talked about. And Paul is in about 90% you know, of those clips. And he embraces those things too, which many players don't. I, in my heart, believe that people who really know basketball and watch basketball see and notice all the little things that I do to help our team succeed. In February 2015, I was 15 years old, and there was a fire at my house. It was just myself and my younger sister in the house. She ran upstairs, and she was yelling that the house is on fire. And at first, it didn't kind of click, because uh, it was early in the morning. Uh, I had just woken up, and I looked outside, and I saw smoke, so I told her to run out and then I followed her and ran out the house. We ended up losing everything in the house. During that time, the first month was really tough just because we do have a really big family. I have five siblings. I live with both my parents and we live with both my grandparents. There were so many people that took us in when we were at our lowest as a family. It took about two and a half to three years to build the house back up, and we had a lot of help during that time. Without that support system, it would have been a completely different experience from myself and my family. When his house burned down, I think that's a big part of the Grateful Four Foundation. Some of your past experiences always shape how you look at the future. I'm extremely excited to announce the launch of the Grateful Four Foundation. Our mission is to spread the idea of gratitude and inspire a chain reaction of selfless acts. I've had the idea for the Grateful Four Foundation for three or four years. The emotion of gratitude is something that we can all feel. It doesn't matter how old you are, where you come from, what race, religion you are. Emotion is something that we can all feel and gratitude is an emotion that we can all feel. Today I want to take the Grateful Four challenge for the Grateful Four Foundation. 
I have a lot of things to be grateful for. Unbelievable that a young student athlete would start a foundation, and I think the foundation's gonna get bigger and bigger, and it's something that we all needed. And it was a good lesson for me, too, to think about things a little bit differently. What we're trying to do right now is help people take a step back, do some self-reflection, realize, yeah, they might not have everything that they want, but there's people a mile away that would do anything to be in their shoes. And we believe that once people recognize that, they'll be more inclined to go out and make somebody's day and not expect something in return. Paul will always texts us, be like, hey guys, do you not want your team meal? If you don't want your team meal, can I take it down to the train station to give it to some of the homeless guys at the New Brunswick train station? Paul's all about giving back. He's always gonna give back to the community because he loves Jersey, he loves the people he came up around. And that's just the kind of person that Paul is. I love the basketball player that he is, but the person is gonna last a lot longer and he's gonna do some special things.